the, uh, this moment you're in, you can't be in Moab at the same time. Where you want to go and what you've been hoping for ain't going to happen operating the way you used to operate. You're going to have to get a little bit uncomfortable. When I explained to you about the man who was blind and Jesus made the mud, spittle and all of that and put it and said go wash, he had to go blind for 20 miles to the pool. But he believed what God said. So even though he didn't see the manifestation at the moment that the Lord touched his eyes, he believed the word that the Lord spoke. Some of you might have to walk blind another 20 miles. Some of you might have to wait another 20 days without a job. But I'm here to tell you in your entrepreneur, your job, your company, your stuff, I believe in my... Sometimes you, old folk, you say you got to know that you know that you know that you know that you saved. You need to know that you know, know about a bunch of other stuff. I I need to know that I know I'm God's child. I need to know there's a promise over me. I need to know that I can't be junk. I need to know that I know God has made me bigger than what I've been operating in. I know that I know that I know that this is a correlation and a combination of stuff that happened that now God is bringing to fullness now. Can I ask you a question? Do you think for a moment you cried all those nights went through all that you went through, had to walk like you had to walk, been betrayed like you had to be betrayed, been sick like this and that, been put out, jealous because everybody else had a mom and daddy and you didn't have nobody. Do you think God would let you come through that for nothing? I'm here to tell you payday is here. Payday is here. You didn't quit. You didn't give up. You're sitting in a chair. You came on a Tuesday night. I dare you to give God praise in this house. God didn't let you go through that to be jacked up.